Good morning, everybody. So I'm going to give you a rundown today of quite an important little event with the Facebook Pixel that has gone unnoticed. Um, and Facebook have released a new standard event called View Category. Now, what the View Category Pixel does is it indicates to Facebook the type of content that you have viewed. Uh, you can think of it as a, of a collection pixel in terms of Shopify but it is much more than that. Um, Facebook have released the standard event across their entire pixel. They haven't just said this is for e-commerce. They haven't just said it's for Shopify. It's for everybody. So whether you do a blog or you're a news site or um, you're some sort of informational site or I, I don't know, but if you use the Facebook pixel, you should implement the view category event that now says to Facebook, what it is that you are looking at, what what it is that the viewer is looking at. So, so what does this mean? I mean, for the first time ever, Facebook knows now what you're looking at. That might sound obvious, uh, but it knows the the type of content. So we're looking at a lingerie site here, um, and we can see the content name is the the collection title, "Sexy and Fun Lingerie by Beauty Night." But it now knows what this is, and if you take that browsing habit across the whole internet, so maybe I'll look at a blog that's about lingerie, maybe I'll um, look at some discount sites that are about lingerie, maybe I'll look at some reviews. It now knows the history of what I've looked at across all of these sites. It knows. I have an interest in lingerie. Before it didn't, it had no idea. Now think about that as a marketer that is looking to target an audience. Facebook all of a sudden has all of this additional information about what your customers have looked at. And it is able to build up a profile of who likes lingerie and who doesn't. More than that, if you if you take it down by a niche, lingerie may contain bras, it may contain nightwear, it may contain briefs. It's able by niche to know what your customers are looking at, and there, you know, if you sell in that niche and you're advertising to that niche, your targeting just got a whole lot better. Um, you take into you know conversion pixels, things like that. Uh, you should be able to convert these niches like crazy. So as marketers, implementing this stuff is real important to us, not only for our own store and our own benefit but to reap the benefit of the learning experience that Facebook now has across what customers are looking at right away across the internet. Not just e-commerce, not just on Shopify, and not just on your store. So let's have a quick look at what the pixel actually contains here. Uh, so it contains the content name. Because it's a, a pixel based on a collection, I've, I've just pulled the, the collection name here. The content category is the Google Shopping category. It's become the currency of understanding what people are looking at across the internet. Um, it, it's consistent across so many things, and information is exchanged in the background to build up a picture of what you're looking at. Now, a real problem here with Shopify is you cannot assign the Google Shopping category against a collection. You can only assign it against a product. Um, and let me tell you something. Technically, to be able to do this is is very, very difficult because there's nowhere to store it. And Anyway, I won't bore you with the, with the details. Um, <clears throat> so this is done with the Pixel Perfect app. And within that Pixel Perfect app, you are able for the first time ever to set a Google Shopping category against a collection. So if you have collections across different niches, maybe you have a general store, you sell pots and pans on one collection, you sell electronics on another, you sell t-shirts on another collection, you're able to set the content category per collection. Um, and as far as I know, we're the only guys that can do that, but uh, no doubt somebody will prove me wrong. Uh, the content IDs are the content IDs of the of the collection here, so uh, these product, all of these product IDs are all now passed over to Facebook in this pixel event, so it knows what we're looking at. But more than that, it now knows the the type of things that these products are. So these products are in this collection. This collection is socks and lingerie. Therefore, these products must be lingerie. So it's a whole load of information is now being passed over to Facebook. 
Um, it matches with the catalog as as per products, um, as per uh, adding to cart, purchase, and uh, view content. They all match the catalog, and this also matches to catalog. <clears throat> So it's, it's a real, real, real exciting um, event that's happened here. I think if you first market and you start building up this information over the next couple of weeks with the pixel information, plus everybody else doing it as well, I believe personally that adverts for you will uh, convert a lot better than they do for other people because Facebook now is able to way, way, way better target audiences based on what their interests are and what their browsing history across the internet has been. That's the difference. It's their browsing history across the internet. And Facebook can also marry that with intent. So people who browse but not purchased, not as interesting to us as people who browsed and purchased a shed load. So Facebook is also able to marry what you've looked at and and, and um, what your interests are with what your intent is, because it knows the conversions for add to cart and purchase across the stores as well, for the same Google category. So it knows what sort of things you're buying, not just what you're looking at. Um, it's going to be really interesting days ahead to see if this pans out and we can actually just use kind of standard ads to better target things. So um, you don't need to be a kind of niche god or a niche guru or massively understand Facebook advertising, just doing things in the right way should convert. So uh, we shall see. But if you want this pixel in your store and you want it today and you want to be able to set your categories uh, by collection, um, go ahead and install the Pixel Perfect app. It's it's uh, 10 bucks a month and it is all in there. I um, hope that's been a little bit interesting. Uh, it's going to be interesting times ahead if you're a marketer, that's for sure. Let's Let's see what happens.